Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Disneyland. I traveled all the way from Orlando, Florida to come out here to Anaheim for my very first D23 Expo and I'm so excited. I just landed today. The Expo starts tomorrow so I figured why not come on out, go to the park, ride some rides, eat some food and just have a beautiful Disneyland kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. It has always been a dream of mine to be able to attend the ultimate Disney fan event, the D23 Expo, and we did it. We are here. I am so excited. Now, this doesn't officially start till tomorrow, like I said, and as soon as I got off the plane, I just couldn't stay away. I had to come out to Disneyland, and we're going to be going to the parks and spending time at the convention all this weekend, but I'm just so happy to be back here. This whole weekend is just going to be so epic and memorable for me. I'm going to be able to attend my very first Oogie Boogie Bash. We're going to be able to ride the Haunted Mansion overlay, the, the Haunted Mansion holiday with Nightmare Before Christmas, and also all of the huge announcements they are going to be announcing at the D23 Expo. Maybe we'll get a new park announced or a new ride. I mean, the possibilities are endless, and I am here for it, and I'm happy to be making a video to show you guys. It's also Disney Plus Day, so they're giving out free buttons. Look at that. Free buttons, and it keeps getting better and better. It is so surreal, the fact that I'm going to be here at Disneyland during the Halloween season. Like, this is absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know, I basically spend every day in Disney World, and I love it. I love Walt Disney World. It's my home, but just being out here, it's just, it's, it's very special, and I'm so excited. I'm so pumped about it. As soon as I walked in the park and I seen the Disney's Halloween time wreaths right here, I just got so giddy. Look at this. Look at the Disneyland train station. And we're going to head in. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start our day. And I'm so, I'm just so thrilled. I'm just so, be, I'm so, so beyond thrilled. I have been non-stop going since 4 o'clock this morning. And the only thing that's pushing me through is just pure excitement and adrenaline. So I don't know how long we're gonna last here, but we're gonna make the most of it. I can hear the train coming in. I can hear the train coming in. Look at this! Oh! <laughs> Definitely wanna be riding that later. I'm actually out here at the D23 Expo with the Roosevelt's crew. Uh, they actually have a Roosevelt's booth at the D23 Expo. And if you guys are walking around the convention center and you come across the booth, you might actually see me there. They're selling some D23 exclusives, so I'm very excited. And also Disney and National Geographic both invited me out to actually do some media coverage too. So I'm 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 like I'm all in. I'm all in on D23. I have to say, it just feels so great to be staring down Main Street USA here in Disneyland. It's so awesome. It's great to be back here. I love the castle. I love the fact that there's Main Street transportation in the middle of the day. Look at this. I love this. Like, usually you don't see the Main Street transportation out later in the day over in Disney World, but it's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. They're just driving right down Main Street USA. I love it. First things first, I think we need to go find ourselves some coffee so that we can try to kick this jet lag and then go ride some rides. I mean, I want to do Pirates because it wasn't open the last time I was here. The Haunted Mansion uh, holiday, like I said. There's so many things I want to do, but we don't have a lot of time. Normally, I'm all about the Starbucks, but we're in Disneyland and I cannot pass up the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. Grab some coffee and just kind of Oh, get recharged, refilled. I might actually get some snacks too. I know that's not really gonna give me energy, but I can't pass it up. I get so excited. I might wanna get a Matterhorn macaroon. Oh boy, they have a lot of really cool treats here and I kinda wanna get them all, but we can't do that. We can't do that. Just take a look at some of these precious beauties. They got a Mickey Bat cookie, of course the Matterhorn macaroon, a pumpkin muffin right here, and then they have a Mummy Mickey macaroon. And I feel like I need to at least get one. Or they got this little Halloween brownie over here. A decision needed to be made. Usually, I have to go with the Matterhorn macaroon because it's just something that I love to get whenever I come here. But 
they have a Mickey Mummy Macron. Now that's a different word. Macron and Macaroon are different. It's a big word for Elmo. But I had to get it. I had to get it. I got myself the cold brew right there. And then take a look at this precious little beauty. Isn't that amazing? I wonder if that's cookies and cream in the center there. Oh, I cannot wait to dive into this. This looks so good though. I couldn't pass it up. Isn't it adorable? The ducks are starting to gather around here, but we're diving in here. I don't even know where to start. Oh, I do know where to start. Ears first. Oh, wow. I took one bite and it was like letting the air out of a balloon. Oh, it's so good though. It crumbles apart though. I lost an ear. I lost another ear. Ears down. It is so good though. It's like a Hershey's uh, cookies and cream bar, but it's a macaron and I love it. It's, it's really, really up there. Very good. All right, enough of the macaron and coffee business. It's time I make my way over to Finding Nemo because I have never ridden this ride. And I've never rode, I never rode 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea either. And I am so excited. Last time I was here, it wasn't open and we're gonna do it. I am so excited that I'm gonna be riding a ride at Disney that I have never ridden before. Fun fact, I own a lot of props from the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction and I never been on I never got the chance to ride it. So this is the closest that I will get to actually riding that attraction and uh, I'm really excited. It's been on my list for a while. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think I'm gonna love it. Here it is. I am so excited to get down in that submarine. Look at that. Oh, look at Hi! This is gonna be so exciting. I cannot wait. I'm super stoked. I ended up buying Genie so that I can make some Genie Lightning Lane selections and I picked the Haunted Mansion Holiday because that had the latest one and I figured a lot of people would be going there. So now we're gonna be able to look forward to doing this uh, Finding Nemo and then the Haunted Mansion Holiday and then Pirates and I gotta try to squeeze in Matterhorn and Mr. Toads and Peter, I mean, <laughs> Pinocchio. There's so many rides that I wanna do. I hope that we get to all of them, but I'll be back at Disneyland. I know that we're gonna be doing California Adventure tomorrow or the next day for Oogie Boogie Bash but I'm sure I can sneak in, you know, in between the convention and uh, just come into Disneyland just to ride some rides, you know? This is just so cool that we're actually going down into a submarine right now. Look at this. <laughs> I love it so much. Here we go. Stand by to dive. Oof. We're going all the way down. It's very tight in here. Tight like a tiger. Secure ship for sea. Oh. Make all preparations for getting underway. Signal up all lines. Cast off forward. Cast off aft. Clear the bridge. Secure hatches and vents. They just sealed the doors, but I do have to say the AC in here is actually not too bad. It's cooler in here than it is outside. Resume speed. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> this was seriously so much fun. I love it. I, I can't wait to ride it again. And also, I like the little chairs, too. Look at these. Aren't they so fancy? That was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Honestly, I felt like a child with his eyes glued wide open. I couldn't stop staring out the window and just seeing all of the water. It was really, really amazing. Not so much like the Finding Nemo characters, but just everything else. I was just totally mesmerized. And I can't believe it's taken me so long to actually be able to ride that. And I can only imagine what it would have been like for me to actually ride it when it was when when, when I could have rode 20,000 leagues into the sea. I would have been like amazed. That was just so cool. Absolutely amazing. All right, I'm half tempted to run over to Matterhorn to see if I can get in the single rider line because we have our lightning lane reserved for the Haunted Mansion holiday and that's coming up soon. But they're also selling blue churros for Disney Plus Day. Seems like a long line for a blue churro. I think I might just want a regular one. I don't know why I need to mention this, but I feel like telling you guys, I'm walking around the parks and I lost my belt. I was at the airport, I took my belt off to go through security and I never put it back on. So my belt is somewhere in Orlando. And when I got here in Anaheim, my room was not ready. So I just left my bags at the front desk and I was like, I'll get them later. Ran over to the convention center, got my credentials and then hopped over here to Disneyland. So I'm like walking and pulling up my pants as I walk around. I mean, it's not too bad, but you, you gotta have a belt. Oh, I also wanna ride Alice in Wonderland too. This usually has a really long line though. Oh yeah, look, there's a lot of people waiting in line. Alice in Wonderland's a good ride and the teacups. Oh, so much, so much, I get so excited. We don't got time for the teacups right now because we gotta go get that Yeti. Well, this is a little bit of a surprise. I think Matterhorn Mountain is down. I think it's closed for a refurbishment. I didn't know, I didn't know. Actually, I should have known because when I was walking around, I didn't hear any screams, but the walls are up. It's closed down for refurbishment. I see some scaffolding up there. Oh no, oh no. Disneyland's first mountain is closed while I'm visiting California. You know what, for a second there, I was actually a little bit sad. I was a little sad, I'm not gonna be able to ride the Matterhorn, but then I remembered I'm in Disneyland. So I'm gonna ride a lot of other great rides and uh, I'll come back, we'll do Matterhorn another day. I guess we're just gonna start making our way over to the Haunted Mansion because we have our Lightning Lane Redemption for the holiday overlay and I am excited for that. I think that is so cool. It's something I would love to see happen in Walt Disney World, but Walt Disney World has so many other things that Disneyland doesn't have. So like I kinda wanna see it just stay here, even though I couldn't do it as much as I want to. I feel like you gotta keep things separate so you wanna go to the other parts, you know what I mean? I think I talked about this when I was talking about the Tower of Terror and Guardians Mission Breakout. I feel like it's perfect that one is here, one is over there, because it makes you want to go back and forth. Also, last time I was here, Pirates was closed, so it's going to be really cool to be able to ride it this time. Also, I'd love to get into the Blue Bayou. I'm going to be looking for reservations, because that's somewhere I definitely want to go eat. I was actually making my way over to the Haunted Mansion and I was thinking about stopping to get some Mickey beignets. They have actually pumpkin Mickey beignets. And I went up to the window and the line was wrapping all the way around the building. So we might come back after the Haunted Mansion because I need to try the pumpkin like spice Mickey beignets. I feel like that's a have to. But uh, that is a long, long line and I think it's ready for the lightning lane. So we're gonna go do that instead. Here it is. I feel like this is probably the most popular attraction in the park right now. Haunted Mansion Holiday. Look at Jack sitting on top there. I'm so excited though that we get to ride this. Look at this, here's the end of the line for the lightning lanes for the Haunted Mansion Holiday. Hi, how are ya? Look at how cool this is though. I want this sign so bad. I ran into my friend Kevin and someone handed him this and says, please proceed up the path and wait by the pillars. A mansion servant will assist you. And how cool is that? And here is my friend Kevin Heimbuck. And you know what's funny? Yeah. I, 
my two two out of my three times visiting California, you happen to be here at the same time. That's what happens. Two, yeah. Right? How crazy, because we were at San Diego Comic-Con, yeah. and now we're here in Disneyland. We just keep going back and forth and back and forth. And I like it, though. Yeah. we got to make it a tradition. Yeah, but the, the humidity is here right now. It's yes. It's like 105 degrees, so it's like Orlando weather, but in California. Everybody else is freaking out. They're all dying and dripping. It's just another day for us. Another day. <laughs> Look at how cool this is. This is absolutely amazing and I am so obsessed with it. Look at this. Ooh. Thank you. Good ghouls and boys must sit safe. What a cool place. Look at this, we got stopped right here. And this guy's gonna keep popping out and scaring me. <laughs> One more time. There he is. Hey, who's back there? <laughs> we gotta zoom in.
Mansion Holiday was everything. I loved it so much. It's so bright in there and you get to see so much. And then also we stopped right in the graveyard, the best place to stop. And I was just kind of just staring and zooming in on all of the popping out animatronics. Very cool. I would definitely make the trip back over here every single season just to ride that. I decided to hop in the saloon here to see if they sell any belts because my pants are still coming down a little bit. The belt situation is not looking too good, so I'm gonna improvise. I got myself a little Disney bag here and we're gonna fashion ourselves a good old fashion belt <laughs> out of a bag. Perfect. Just two little loops. All you gotta do is tie it a little bit tighter and we're good to go. And then you tuck it in your pocket like this and nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. I'm starting to realize right now that I just bought the Genie app so that I can ride the Haunted Mansion holiday and I don't want the rest of the Genie to actually go to waste so I booked a big Thunder Mountain uh, lightning lane that's effective right now like not come back in an hour not come back in two hours like go directly straight to Big Thunder Mountain don't pass go like right now the reason I say it like that, it's because I'm so used to using the Genie over in Disney World where you can't like make uh, lightning lanes for like immediate like reservations. Like you always have to wait a while. But here in Disneyland, it's pretty easy. There was tons of rides that were just immediately ready. I think after Big Thunder Mountain though, maybe we should get some Din Din, something to eat. I was gonna get the pumpkin spice beignets, but I need like a meal meal. I, I'm really hungry and I'm starting to feel a little fatigue. Maybe a ride on the wildest ride in the wilderness might wake me up a little bit. I think we should best remove them. The ball. Thunder Mountain definitely hits a little bit harder at night. I love it. And also the exploding mine shaft, that is so cool. It's such an amazing effect that I love that's different here at Disneyland compared to any other Big Thunder. And uh, now we gotta get something neat. We gotta find something that's open actually. I might actually be fancying some jambalaya from the French market because I think this is the only thing that's open right now. And I love how Disneyland has like this tray style service. You like pick your tray up and then you tell them what you want. And they have a lot of good items here. Look at Louisiana beef stew, creamy corn chowder in a sourdough bread bowl. They've got the slow roasted beef, the buttered shrimp, the Cajun chicken Caesar salad, and then the jambalaya. I think I'm all in on the jambalaya. We got ourselves the tray. Now we just wait in a line and kind of just like how you are in you know, high school. Just kind of wait, I really love that. Oh, there's the good stuff right there. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, much too good. 
I actually ran into my friend Jimmy Good. He has a YouTube channel too, and he was out here live streaming. He ended up giving me a beignet. Yeah. Look at that. Remember before I said I couldn't wait in the line and I was going to ride Haunted Mansion? And he was here and he was like, I'll hold on to one for you. So how cool is that? So now we got a beignet to go with the jambalaya. It's like the perfect uh, French market cuisine here. It's not a hot jambalaya. Oh, it is. It's spicy. Hot jambalaya. Hot jambalaya. Hot jambalaya. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Jimmy Good is such a cool guy. He's been watching the videos for a while and we've been talking back and forth in the comments. So I'm so happy that I got to run into him. Check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description there, but I'm excited for this jambalaya. I got myself an Arnold Palmer jambalaya and one beignet. This jambalaya is like something I've never seen before because usually I see it all cooked together but they actually put like the white rice down and then kind of spoodle the stew or the jambalaya on top of it and it's kind of interesting. I did take a little bite of a shrimp. I grabbed a little shrimp and it's a little spicy. It has a kick so I'm probably going to feel the burn. At least I have my little Arnold Palmer there so we're going to grab a little bite here. Get a little of that chicken, a little bit of that shrimp. I think that's onion there or cabbage. I don't even know. Hmm. Just gonna eat it. So good. I'm pretty sure I had this last time I came out to Disneyland and it was just as good as I remember. I love it. Oh, look at that. What a bite. <laughs> it does have a little kick to it. Not too bad. Just a little bit of a kick, even though I do know that I'm steaming up here. It is very hot and humid actually over in California. I mean, not so much humid like Florida, it's just a very hot day. But uh, yeah, it's very good, it's very delicious. Enough of the jambalaya business, now let's get to what's in the bag. What's in the bag, what's in the bag? Look at this little thing. Oh, the precious Mickey beignet in all of its glory. Look at all that powdered sugar. I don't know if it's the pumpkin one because I'm just getting it from my friend Jimmy. I'm pretty sure we're going to be making a little bit of a powdered sugar mess here. So I'm going to try to lean in like this. That's so good. It definitely is a regular like Mickey beignet, but it is so amazing. I love them. I'm hoping Magic Kingdom might end up getting some uh, Mickey beignet soon. Maybe a surprise announcement. You know, rumor on the street is we're getting a New Orleans Square at Walt Disney World. And if that's the case, Mickey beignet is to come. But we will see all the announcements come Sunday, September 11th. And I will be there in person. So I'm very excited. And after that amazing helping of jambalaya, it's starting to hit me. It's starting to hit me hard here. I think I'm gonna actually start making my way back to the hotel. I'm feeling super tired now. The park closes in a couple minutes anyway. And uh, I, tonight I'm actually staying off property. I'm staying really close to Disney, uh, but it's kind of around the corner. And I figured I'd bring you guys and show you guys the, the hotel in the room since I'm checking out tonight. And I haven't even seen the room yet because I dropped all of my bags off at the front desk because my room wasn't ready when I first got here. So I thought it'd be cool to show you a little bit outside of Disneyland. You know, a lot of people say they don't like the way that Disneyland is because it's like in the city itself. But uh, it's kind of cool to show you guys on the other side of what it's like. You know what I mean? I guess we'll take one last look down Main Street USA at Sleeping Beauty Castle. We'll be back though. We'll be back probably tomorrow or the next day. It's funny because normally like when I'm at Disney World, I'm always walking through the Emporium. You know what I mean? Cutting through the Emporium. But when I come to Disneyland, I always walk right down the middle of Main Street. Like I, oh, and I forgot, I gotta see the pumpkin all lit up at the end. Look at the gigantic Mickey pumpkin. I love it. That is so cool. All right, so we officially left the park and now we're gonna start making our way out to Harbor Street. And I'm gonna show you guys how I get to my hotel, show you guys what it's like outside of the Disney bubble. And it's so cool seeing Oogie Boogie all lit up. I'm so excited for the Oogie Boogie bash that we're going to, the D23 one. Look at that. It looks so spooky and awesome. I'm so excited for that. And technically, if we just go out this way, this is like the main entrance to Disneyland, and we make a right, we're actually gonna start heading towards uh, the hotel. 
All right, here we go. We're outside the Disney bubble here. Thank you for visiting. And as soon as you walk underneath this wonderful sign, they can sell you a bottle of water for a dollar, a Red Bull, a Monster, a Diet Coke. We've got portable batteries over here. We've got balloons. We also got that really cool thing that just keeps getting tossed up in the air. Let's see if you can find it, watch. Oh, there it is. It's coming back down. He caught it. Nope, he missed it. And we gotta wait here because we have to cross the street. We gotta get across the street here. Gotta get over to the IHOP. Thousands of times in Vegas, Hollywood, Disneyland, hiking. this one. Welcome to Animal Kingdom. Lots of street crossing if you plan on walking. Oh, gotta rush now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Marie, the baguettes. Hurry up. I really do love some of the cool hotels and motels they have right outside Disneyland, including this Castle Inn and Suites. Look at this in here. Isn't this so cool? I wouldn't mind staying here. It's very, very nice. You got some lions out here. Very cool. And like Disneyland is right there. Actually, Mission Breakout, I think, is right there. And the backside of Cars Land is like over these trees right there. Everything's so close. Over there is the Candy Cane Inn. And we got this little strip mall right here. And we're like about five minutes walking distance to Disneyland. And now we're coming up on my hotel right next to the strip mall here. Or right behind the strip mall. Good news is if I'm shopping around for some sunglasses, souvenirs, Brewberry Cafe and Kitchen, U.S. Liquor Land, some fresh Mexican food, Star Burger, Subway, Bird's Hot Chicken. I'm going to have to try that hot chicken. Or pizza, which actually the California Pizza Palace is actually pretty good. I did get some pizza from there. It's not like the best, but it'll do. But I'm really interested in the hot chicken though. At least I got all these uh, spots right here right at my convenience. Right down there is the convention center. That's where the D23 Expo is gonna be. And we've got a CVS, we've got a Walgreens, a Starbies, a Blaze Pizza, and also I think a Yang's there. And then we've got some purple palm trees because they're fancy. Oh, they changed colors. Now they're yellow. That's very fancy. All right, I'm gonna grab my bags from the front. We're gonna head up to the room and I'm gonna give you a, a quick room tour, just a quick one. Are you guys ready for the room tour? I gotta say, when I first walked into the room, I really didn't think much about it. I just put my stuff down and then I turned on the lights and I was like, okay, everything's brown. But then I was like, holy moly. Once I started exploring around, take a look at this bathroom. This is the bathroom. Now are you ready for this? Here we go. What? Look at this. This is so amazing. I was like, holy moly, look at this tub. Look at that. This is so fancy. Got a nice little mirror. Look at this here. Everything's so fancy. Got a walk-in shower right there. And then I was like, what's this? Is this another walk-in shower? No, it's the toilet. Look at that. This is so nice. Look at the sink. Very, very fancy. I was like, okay. Once I saw the bathroom, I was like, things are gonna be good. And then we came over here. We got ourselves a microwave, a Keurig. Nice little fridge down here. Not fully stocked. Once we get in the room a little bit, we've got an air purifier right here, which is very, very nice. It keeps it smelling very nice in here. And then look at the size of this bed. Look at, they even put some gooses there, or some geese. I love it, and that's the bathroom. This is a really cool room. I really do like it a lot in here. Got a full entire couch here. No balcony or anything, but who needs that? Anywho, that was my quick little room tour. Now I have to start editing this video. I gotta get to bed. I'm like running on like almost no sleep, like honestly in two days probably, but uh, I'm having so much fun and we are gonna have so much more fun this whole entire weekend. I'm gonna try to keep up on Instagram, so you guys make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be sharing stories and it's just paging Mr. Morrow. And then also I'm gonna try to keep throwing out some videos, but at the same time I really do just wanna enjoy 
enjoy the expo itself because it's something like I said I've always wanted to do and I never got the opportunity to and uh, yeah this is gonna be my first one and it's Disney 100 so that's even cooler you know what I mean a hundred years of Disney and I'm so excited so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you're around the convention like I said don't forget to stop over to the Roosevelt booth and uh, I'm in and out of there so you guys might actually catch me if you want to come say hi we're also doing a special D23 uh, after hours event on Friday uh, it's an after party at Lopez and Lefties uh, it's gonna be really cool I know that it was sold out like online but they do have walk-ups that's just that guaranteed area so if you guys are in the area in Anaheim you want to come say hi drop on by. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!